Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have another Divi tutorial for the menu. This time we're looking at the logo and I had a request for this and it's a good one. How to make the logo bigger so that it overlaps the menu. So it'll overlap top and bottom. The, the logo will be taller than the menu. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and it's pretty easy and quick. Let's get started. All right, so let's get to this. This is using the Divi menu module. So remember, this is not the default menu that's at the top by default when you install Divi, although I will be covering that um, at the end here. But I, I wanted this specifically to be about the menu module. There are a lot of tutorials out there on this topic on the default menu, like, you know, in the, in the past before the theme builder came out with Divi 4.0. But a lot of them, it's kind of interesting to look up, like Google all of them because they're all different and they all have different code. And it's like, none of them are really perfect. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to that later. But for now, I'm going to show you how simple it is using the menu module, which of course I recommend because that means you're probably using the theme builder, which by the way, is totally awesome. So you need to be using the theme builder. And if you're not, go check out our mini course on getting you started. Anyway, so I'm going to jump over right here. I have a menu set up and I made it white and the green for the contrast just so you can see what's going on here. So this is a menu module. And the key here would be that you're using the logo right here. So in the content tab, logo, now you may be adding the image manually. So like if I reset that right here, you could add the image, right? Or you may be using um, the, the site logo right here, that would work too. So either way, it doesn't matter as long as you have your logo in here. And you can see that in this case, my logos, you know, I would say it's pretty tall compared to the menu. I've made the menu have a background that's white just to show you. Like if it was like that, you wouldn't really see the overlap. Um, that's why I made it white. So I just showed it like that. So you can see here how easy this is. So go to the advanced tab. Remember, we're in the menu module, advanced tab. Open up this custom CSS toggle. You'll see all these little boxes here. One of the reasons that this tutorial is so easy is because we don't need to be going to like our child theme or you know the theme options. We can literally do it right here. So right here, now you we're gonna type, but you could copy from our tutorial right here. It's kind of simple, um, but basically it's it's more fun to type because you you can learn better. Okay, so that we, we're thinking of it as like the margin, right? Because we need a way to make that image overlap. So we're thinking, okay, negative margin. So here's how, how you could start and you can experiment, you know? Um, so like margin top and then say like negative 30 pixels or something, okay? And right there you can see that it moved it up and now the amount of space that my logo is above the white part is 30 pixels. Um, there's a couple ways you could do it there with shorthand. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it the normal way here. So margin bottom then, you know, you'd probably want it to be the same, 30 pixels. And there you go, we're done. That's how easy this tutorial is. You know, right here in the in the menu logo CSS box, we're able to type that and, and of course adjust that however you want. And that could depend, you know, that could really depend on the size of your image, if it's really tall or whatever, how much padding you have on your menu, anything like that. So I think it's that's just like how simple that is. You know, of course there's no um, design setting, like if we were in sizing here, um, there's no, I mean, there's logo max width and max height and all that stuff, but there's nothing that would say like, I guess technically it would be under spacing. There's nothing here that would say spacing negative, you know, whatever we need there. Okay. So that's, that's it. That concludes it for the menu module. Now, while we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you for like the regular menu. So you can see right here in my, I have the Divi teacher logo up here in the top corner. And this is a really bad example. Basically go over to the tutorial again, you can grab the snippet that I have there. And this is meant to be customized, okay? 
um, th this is not like, you know, copy paste, you're done because it fits all your websites. No, not at all. This snippet is absolutely meant to be customized. So if I paste that in there, I'll just show you a couple examples of why you would want to customize it. You probably would not want that green thing touching the top. So I could come in here and you'll see here, I have it labeled like set the logo height on desktop. Okay. So we have the min height, but you might also want like a margin. So I might like want like a margin top of, I don't know, 10 pixels. Okay. See how I moved it down. Maybe I'll add that to this snippet by default, but either way, um, the, the min height, you know, I could say, well, um, one like 80 or something. Now, if this image was one that had like, you know, a white background or something, it would look a lot better. The example would make a lot more sense. Um, but in this example, you can see that it's overlapping this gray area and that depends on what kind of min height you're using. And of course, if you're, you know, you're adding more margin to the top, you see what I did there, added more margin to the top, you know, whatever, things like that, it's going to overlap. So if you have like a vertical type of logo, one that's like maybe a rectangle or, or, you know, whatever shape it is, there you go. That's how between those two values is how you're going to make that overlap and come down. Now I'll even throw this in. Also, if you're working on mobile, this here, you know, would be the same thing. It's just setting it for tablet and mobile using the media query, still targeting that logo. So you would want to adjust these values. You would want to adjust the max height and the max width, and you would want them to match. So right there, I have them set at 80%. Um, now you could say a hundred pixels. It wouldn't have to be percentage. Uh, I'm just going to get out of here. So I'll go to my browser tools here. You can see that my logo is actually fairly big. Um, by default, it would be fairly small here and it might be a bad example in this case, because this logo is a horizontal logo. But if you had like some kind of vertical logo, play with those numbers and it'll come down here like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that again can be a totally separate value for, for desktop and, and yeah, desktop and tablet and logo. Okay. So that's it. That's how simple this is. So my main focus wanted to be there on the menu module just because there's no tutorials out there on that at all. Okay, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. How to make the Divi logo overlap the menu like that. We have, um, I think, I don't know, we're getting close to 30 different Divi menu tutorials. So be sure to go check them out on our website. Um, it's a playlist here on YouTube, but also on our website, a category where you can just view all of them. Um, just, I'm just really happy with, with all the menu tutorials that we've done. Um, really helpful, helpful to a lot of people. All right. Let me know what you want to see next and we'll see you guys in the next video.